Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 12th, 2019. So yesterday, what a incredible bull rally. We had obviously some issues going on with uh, Boeing uh, having a major, major decline. Uh, in the morning, um, rallied back significantly after the FAA said that the aircraft in question is still um, serviceable. But um, this morning we have uh, Boeing all, uh, now pulling back another country has um, grounded the aircraft. So uh, Boeing is pulling back again this morning and we're starting to see, you know, a little bit of challenge here in the Dow futures this morning as a result. However, yesterday the Apple upgrade really offset um, um, Apple is heavier weighted than Boeing um, and Apple really offset that uh, that Boeing declined yesterday and really sparking uh, quite a tech rally across the board there was a lot of stocks moving yesterday and looking really really good so let's take a look at the overall indexes obviously a very bullish candle here and kind of a short squeeze I think was triggered yesterday and a short squeeze is when those folks that are caught still holding short positions are being forced to buy to cover to close out those trades and really enhancing a potential rally and I I think they really triggered some short squeeze yesterday moving higher currently as i'm recording this dow futures are pointing to about a 70 point decline this morning in the dow so we're going to get a little bit of a pullback here this morning but nothing major and after such a big rally uh, a little pullback um, should not be um, out of the question or or not be a big surprise if we take a look up here we still want to respect these price resistance levels and you know noting that we have failed up in these areas uh, multiple times so we'll have to watch this as we move up toward these resistance levels to watch for those potential failures you know um, i've said before that um, uh, when we started to pull back that to be careful because the bulls were not likely to give up easily and they didn't. We struggled here for several days trying to get uh, for the bears to kind of take over uh, for the short term. And I wouldn't expect the bears to give up either as we push up toward resistance. So be really careful and respect these price resistance levels as we move up there. And remember to be very, very focused on that price action. We may want something to happen here, but uh, and the market doesn't care what we want. Uh, <laughs> we have to respect what the price action is telling us and and, uh, just be cautious not to over commit or to over trade in this area up here um, watch that closely so just watch that resistance everything is looking pretty good the, the bulls are currently in control um, just that we have the diamonds kind of struggling here this morning if we take a look at uh, the SPY SPY is pretty much flat on the futures right now maybe just a little bit slightly down but as you can see as we approach this resistance level up here we need to be very respectful of this price action and you can see uh, there's a a major line of defense where the bears have uh, uh, just really lined up and uh, work to prevent um, a rally through there so we we'll want to watch this closely as we approach that resistance stay focused on the price action just in case those bears do want to fight back and push us lower and that would be um, not a good sign if we had some kind of a lower high placed in here so hopefully that's not the case hopefully those bulls will continue to hold on the bears won't fight too terribly hard and we get an opportunity to push through that resistance we'll have to watch that closely however let's take a look at the cues qqq Really strong move yesterday. Uh, beautiful move, uh, to tell you the truth. Really strong move on those Apple upgrades, pushing us back up here. And this was a kind of an important area to break back above. Now, if we get any kind of rest or pullback, holding that area will be important. 
But this morning, the NASDAQ is also showing, or at this time, showing uh, a bullish open uh, this morning, wanting to push a little bit higher. Remember to respect these price resistance levels up here. Um, again, as we push up here, if we catch any kind of a failure, um, that could be uh, pretty darn devastating to the technicals of the chart. So let's watch that closely. Hopefully those bulls will maintain that control pushing higher. And the rumor is that there's going to be a slew of upgrades and downgrades uh, from analysts here over the next week or so. So who knows, they could inspire the market higher or lower. But also keep in mind that we've got some technical issues out there with declining jobs and all those kind of things starting to uh, put a little downward pressure on the market as well. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM um, rallying nicely yesterday, rallying right into this price resistance. We're going to have to watch this this morning and as you can see the um, uh, Russell is maybe pushing down just slightly at the moment um, from this resistance level a failure right at that price resistance would not be good for IWM we need to see that push on through so watch this level right here closely today let's take a quick look at the VIX the VIX did a great job yesterday on such a nice rally, breaking back down and rejecting this um, area right here. We pop through that resistance work, testing it as support. Support failed and uh, dropped us significantly lower here. Well, one thing we do have to pay attention to is that even though we're dropping this morning, we have that little bit of fear that may come into the market. So we don't want to see this turn around and rally right here, creating that little higher low. We want to see that continue to, um, to drive on lower, failing um, this support level. So watch that close. Remember, as we bounce around here, in the VIX, that fear could crop up really easy if um, if the market starts to sell off um, strongly in this area. So watch that close. Let's take a look um, at T21.22. T21.22, four week, new high, new low ratio. Here's an interesting thing about T21.22. We came all the way back yesterday. Um, we went from down here to um, getting close to that bearish reversal zone, which we never quite attacked, and rallying straight back up and we're approaching that, um, excuse me, the bullish reversal zone here, uh, approaching that bearish reversal zone uh, very, very quickly. Um, all in one move. So we'll want to watch that closely. If we do continue to rally higher, watch this resistance level um, in this up here. And you can see, even though that we had this period of time where we were just stuck up here for a long period of time, that's very abnormal. If you pull this back, you can go back for as long as you want and you're going to find it difficult to find a time first like we have recently had. And um, also notice that it's very reliable. We push up into this area and we often see uh, that bearishness come into play, a little bit of um, pullback. So uh, as we move up here, we want to respect that. Um, and all at once is kind of an interesting move. Um, in the market. So watch this this up here. If we start running into those resistance levels in the price action of the chart, this might be that clue of um, just a little bit of caution needs to be um, considered in your trading as we push toward those resistance levels. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Kind of an interesting uh, thing, We at 8.30 a.m. Eastern today, we have the CPI report. Now the CPI report, they're expecting an increase in the CPI number. So that could help fuel the market higher. Moving us up a little bit, we'll wanna watch that closely, but kind of keep that in mind. And we also have Fed speaker here today. But after we get through that report, there's really nothing here um, on the agenda to really move us around or to be of major concern. Um, also keep in mind, we have about 125 companies reporting earnings today. And as those earnings roll out, they obviously affect how the market trades and kind of the sentiment of the market. So make sure you're checking 
on those earnings reports. Um, right now, the Dow is showing down 82 points in the future. So we're getting a little bit heavier on those futures as we move toward that CPI report. So let's keep an eye on that um, and watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading. I really do. You know, yesterday we just had some great profits in, in charts as the markets just rallied, rallied, rallied. Um, let's keep that going today. Um, be a little bit cautious about buying up a whole bunch of stocks as we approach these resistance levels. But watch that closely for that opportunity to take profits in those great stocks. You know, one of the things I always try to do is I want to be taking profits or even scaling out of a trade as we move up in strength. I don't want to wait to try and catch the last penny in the move. Um, I just want to be uh, taking those profits consistently um, as we move up. So we'll want to watch that today. Hey, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments. I truly appreciate that, guys. And by the way, uh, leaving, uh, clicking that thumbs up and leaving a comment on YouTube, very, very important to um, the algorithms to show these videos to more folks. So the more of you that do that, the better it is. And thank you so much for those who do take the time to do that. Also, please feel free to share this video. My goal um, with this channel is, is oh, I say it all the time, is just traders helping traders. I've been doing this now 14 years full time, uh, almost 30 years of trading experience. And um, I just wanted to provide something out there, some good content that could help other traders prepare for the day and do a little bit better job um, with their trading. And um, the intention of this channel is not to make money. It's just it's just to help uh, folks with their trading. So if you find this useful, please um, you know subscribe, click that um, bell icon so that you'll be notified. And also feel free to share this video with any friends, family. Click that share button and just you know post it on your Facebook and Twitter accounts. Um, any of that certainly helps in in spreading the word. Um, what we're trying to do here. So, hey everyone, um, let's take a look. Let's take a look at some stocks that uh, could be forming up and looking just pretty darn good. Well, first off, uh, let's take a look at that Apple move. Apple, beautiful move up. Now we do have a little bit of price resistance in here that you can see Apple has to deal with but i think after that big upgrade in this move that apple definitely needs to be on a watch list and paid attention to we had this one bump out of this out of this trend um, but you can see nice and strong in this move any kind of a little rest or pullback in here could really set up a good opportunity I think here in Apple. So Apple might be one to watch. Um, a, a much cheaper stock that you might want to pay attention to is UAA. UAA, um, now UAA uh, has to deal um, they're they're very heavy into Dick Sporting Goods and Dick Sporting Goods reports earnings, I believe today. So we'll want to pay attention to that around Dick Sporting Goods. But uh, keep in mind, nice Morningstar pattern, trying to recover um, after this sell off. What I, I I can't really tell you for sure that this would be anything that. Um, is going to perform. As a matter of fact, we could rally right back up in here into and fail. So um, this isn't ready for um, you know just jumping on as a trade. We want to wait and see how this performs. Uh, but it certainly is a good one for the watch list. And by the way, just a quick reminder that any stocks I bring up in here is not any kind of a recommendation to buy or sell. It's just simply um, stocks that I'm paying attention to. Things that should you might want to keep an eye on for your watch list and pay attention to. Yesterday I'd mentioned STX. STX um, really fired up looking very, very good um, yesterday, kicking off hard. Any kind of rest or pullback now in STX looks good. And also WDC in that same category. WDC trying to break out of this resistance might be worth keeping an eye on WDC for a potential trade. Another trade that um, I have mentioned is EA. 
today. Now, EA just continued to rest here yesterday. I think a little slide over here toward the trend uh, may have an opportunity for that to move higher. So kind of keep an eye on EA. Philip Morris. Philip Morris moved on up nicely yesterday. Um, one thing I do have concern here with Philip Morris is this uh, longer term downtrend. But now that we're trying to break through that, keep an eye on Philip Morris and Altria. Um, Rightway Options uh, members have made great money on Altria in this move. Altria looking great. Um, little rest or pullback now might set up uh, more of an opportunity in that trade. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Please uh, do me a favor and click those subscribe buttons. Thank you very much for doing so. And everyone, take care of yourselves. Have a great day. To all of you folks out there that may be struggling as traders, please uh, understand you're not alone. Um, there's a lot of folks. It, it just Trading is one of those things that tests you in a lot of different ways. It tests um, test your technical skills, it tests your charting skills, it tests your emotional uh, um, um, aspects um, of money, it also tests your discipline um, and um, um, just basic business skills. It'll test you in so many different ways, it's amazing. So if you're struggling, please understand um, that you're not alone. And if there's anything we can do to help, um, please feel free to ask questions. We wanna help you with that if we can. And you know, keep up the hard work. You know, just continuing, never giving up, just continuing to work, to practice, to push forward is the key to success in trading. Um, you know, one of the things that um, uh, for me w when it came to trading, there was no plan B. I didn't want a plan B. I wanted to be a full-time trader. And so there was no giving up for me. Um, I refused to even think about a plan B. It was just to continue to drive forward, continue to work really hard. Um, at my trading until um, you know it finally clicked and things started working for me. So never give up on your dream of trading. Uh, continue that hard work. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. We'll talk to you all very soon, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.